Now, um, in a, just over a month, um, Jill and I are going to be travelling to uh, the UK for a couple of months, and I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of gigs over there for the first time, which is going to be very, very exciting. I've got 16 folk clubs lined up. Oh. And um, I, um, the, the one thing that I'm slightly stressed about is that I'm going to be there as an Australian called Bruce. <laughs> and those of you that laugh know the problem because many years ago Monty Python did a sketch <laughs> called the, the uh, University of Woolloomooloo Philosophy Department sketch <laughs> in which everybody was called Bruce yes. and g'day Bruce and uh, I've been getting it ever since to some extent but especially from English people I thought what I should do is get in first so this is called The Importance of Being Bruce <laughs> G'day, I'm Australian and my name is Bruce. Now I know that that's a cliche, but fair dinkum, it's the truth. Well, you can make your jokes, display your wit, lampoon my name, make fun of it, but you may hurt my feelings just a bit, because my name is Bruce. Yeah, g'day, I'm Australian. And my name is Bruce. Now that's actually a Scottish name, if you want to know the truth. Bruce was a mighty warrior king. Defeating the English was his thing. Me, I love the English, and I love to sing. And my name is Bruce. And that's me sucking up to the English audience. There. <laughs> yeah, g'day, I'm Australian. And my name is Bruce. I read philosophy at Princeton, not the University of Wollamaloo, and that's actually true. I don't like that Monty Python skit. Its portrayal of my name is inaccurate. It makes us Aussie Bruces feel like sh shaking our heads in despair, because our name is Bruce. Yeah, g'day, I'm Australian, and Bruce is my name. I could be a dick and change it, but to be frank, it wouldn't be the same. It would rob me of my dignity. I'd be shorn of all that makes me me. I'm earnest when I make this plea. I just want to be Bruce. Yeah, g'day, I'm Australian, and my 